Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will teach you how to use Molden to draw a structure. So let's get started. First of all you need to run Molden. Usually in Linux you do it just by typing Molden into a console or run it from a graphic view. Uh, what you will see will be one screen, in your case it will be probably black, it's based on a configuration. It's actually the screen where the molecule is drawn and then you have the control panel where you command what you should, what you want to draw or what you want to see. To draw a molecule, you need to open the ZMAT editor and here you are making a Z matrix. And what is the Z matrix? It is a notation system, how you define a molecule using uh, bond angles, bond lengths and dihedral angles. So let's show it. You start by adding line. Let's draw a molecule of ethane in our case. So I start with carbon. See there is one atom. If you would like to see that the balls, then just uh, dots. You can just change the draw mode to sticks. Now we have a ball of single atom. So let's add one more. You need to click on the carbon atom which you have made. You need to click really at the center of the ball, not at the edge. Then, of course, ethane is not just two carbons, it's also six hydrogens. So let's add those. Click, click. In this case, you need to cl click twice because you need to define two atoms for the relative position of the hydrogen atom. For the first atom, you need it just to define the distance. For the second one, you need the distance from the atom towards which it's connected and also you need to define the angle. Okay, let's move on. Let's add one more hydrogen. We want to connect to the same carbon and now we need to click on even more atoms because here we need to define the dihedral angle. We don't just need to know the angle between uh, the two carbon atoms and hydrogen, but we also need to know the relative angle between the planes of uh, these hydrogens and these two carbon atoms and the upper hydrogen and carbon atoms. You see, in this case, it's 120 degree. It's angle which you see here from the front, from one hydrogen to the other. It's 120 degree. So let's continue. Click, click 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 one more okay so we have one metal group and the other metal group i will show you one of many tricks how you can speed up this uh, slow and laborious process in molden you just select an atom now you can click substitute atom by fragment and you can set ch3 and now you have a nice molecule or at least starting geometry of molecule of ethane so you can rotate it take a look you can change the angles and there is one important things, uh, thing in um, calculations and most of the time you draw a molecule because you want to run a calculation from it it's related to symmetry and degrees of freedom if molecule is symmetric in any way it can't lose the symmetry during the calculation and it has its consequences in this case it's okay because the relaxed state of molecule of ethane is antiperiplanal, which is the configuration which you see now, but if you by uh, some lucky moment draw synperiplanar configuration, let's show the case, so let's rotate everything by 60, so 180 this one, this one should be 60, and the last one Okay, we can't change this one. Let's move back. Uh, let's start with this tail. It'll be easier. Okay, if you would by any chance draw the sin periplanal configuration of ethane, then you would end up actually in transition state between uh, rotation of the metal group from one anti-periplanal anti configuration to the other. 
So keep this one in mind. How to prevent this is to try to loosen every, every symmetry which you could imagine because if really the symmetry is the symmetric structure is the preferred one, then the calculation could can optimize to that structure. So start for instance not 240 but 220. One to five. And now it's not symmetric anymore and the calculation would probably take uh, longer than in case you would uh, start directly from anti periplanar configuration but you should be able to reach the correct uh, state which is the minima for the structure if you want to run a calculation you need to save the geometry uh, in my tutorial in uh, future lectures I will use Gaussian so let's click on Gaussian and you want to name it so let's name it Etane why not and you end up by right set metrics and to verify that everything worked well you see here in the console uh, that uh, the file was successfully wrote so that's it for today i hope you have learned how to draw a molecule using molden and thank you for watching